as we've got a green light. Now that I wish FSD would do. Full self-driving may be degraded, poor weather detected. So we're definitely gonna see the windshield wipers hopefully kicking on enough. Uh, probably gonna need to use the defrost. Turn the temperature down a little bit. So yeah, the iterations are happening quickly. We were on 11.3.2.1 for only a couple days. And then uh, just got 11.33 this morning. We do have a police officer behind us. It would be interesting to get pulled over. I wasn't driving officer. I'm gonna keep my hands close to the wheel. We do have bad conditions. All right, so it's choosing to go left here, which is fine. We'll call this moderate rain. Police officer still is behind us. So yeah, so far so good with 11321. Um, I noticed some things with speed control that I think could get better and better over time. Um, it seems like that FSD, when it has a decision between two options that are equally good, it sometimes kind of vacillates between them. Um, I noticed it on on speed control and then I also notice it in lane selection. Sometimes if both lanes seem like they'd be a fine option, it kind of vacillates between the two lanes. It, it reminds me somewhat of chess computers when you're calculating the best move and you'll see the percentages bounce, kind of vacillate between what the computer thinks is the best move. And these are neural network computers that are doing this calculation, so it makes sense that they would be that it would be similar. I was thinking maybe that would be a situation where it was vacillating a little bit, but decided on the left lane. Hopefully it doesn't speed too much since we have that police officer behind us. We do have it on the uh, auto speed, so it will try to keep up with traffic. But yeah, I would say that is so far the biggest thing that I've noticed now that we're on supervised FSD. The biggest thing that I've noticed in comparison to 1149 is this um, vacillating about speed. And I do, I am keeping it on auto. Uh, I could, I think that would probably change if I kept it just to, to match the speed limit. But I do want to keep testing out this auto because I think that's ultimately how um, humans drive, they keep up with the flow of traffic and adjust accordingly, not always going by the letter of the law with the speed limit. So I want to keep it on that, but, but yeah, that's kind of the biggest thing I've noticed. But I mean, if you saw my last video, this is a massive improvement over 1149, uh, quite impressive, a lot more smooth, a lot more human like as we've got a green light. Now that I wish FSD would do. I wish FSD would automatically honk. We need a Grok version of FSD, which is trained on clips of annoyed drivers honking and cutting people off in traffic. That would be great. But how cool would that be? Send that clip to uh, the Tesla team. That should have been a honk situation. Wake up, green light. All right, so it's kind of hard to see the lanes here in the rain. Uh, computer seems to be picking it up okay. Wouldn't mind if the wipers went a little faster. This is a really, really narrow road, so I'm going to be careful, especially as we get past this traffic light as we're changing lanes. Um, totally fine. We're not turning right till a mile or so up the road, but I don't have a problem with getting in the right lane there. But yeah, really narrow kind of S turn up here past these traffic lights. So I'm gonna pay really close attention because there's not a lot of uh, margin for error and the lanes are gonna be harder to see in the rain. Honk, honk. 
Honk honk. It's one thing I love about FSD is it's always watching the green light. Never distracted, always ready to go. Unlike these human drivers that take the opportunity to scroll through TikTok at a red light or YouTube shorts. High river today, been getting a lot of rain. All right, we have a pedestrian. Looks like she might cross. I guess not. I have noticed that the anticipation of pedestrian vectors is really, really good. Um, if it looks like somebody is, has intention of crossing, uh, FSD picks up on it really well. All right, we're here. Kind of here and past this light is where I want to really make sure I'm paying attention, especially with all this water on the road. Harder to see the lanes. We're four wide here, going in two directions. Kind of glad we're on the right side now. That, I guess, is the safest rather than being in the left lane. It's not too busy right now, so I don't think we're gonna have a problem here. I got my first nag. Yeah, so far so good. It, I gotta say, it feels good kind of coming out of winter time. There's definitely some stress involved in testing FSD in the, in the winter time on slippery roads. Uh, now we're getting into the rainy season. Kind of excited to be in the rainy season and then again to the summer. This is a good time for the Tesla team to be rolling out supervised FSD all over North America because we're kind of coming out of the worst of the weather. But it's like I've said in the past, I mean, you wouldn't fly a plane in a blizzard. You probably won't be using FSD in a blizzard in the future either. So it's going to have its limits. You know, just like the government would ground planes in inclement weather, perhaps there will be laws against using self-driving in inclement weather. Um, we'll see how the future unfolds. I mean, capability-wise, it should have the capability to make decisions better than humans. But regardless, people are not going to be okay with even if one time out of a million um, FSD slides all over the road and causes an accident. People aren't going to be okay with that just the same way they wouldn't be okay with throwing a 747 passenger plane on autopilot and taking off in a in a blizzard it's fine to err on the side of caution and those kind of things so so far a really smooth drive which is becoming the norm with with fsd 12. i don't like calling it fsd parentheses supervised. I like calling it supervised FSD. Eventually it'll just be FSD or unsupervised FSD. It does. This weather reminds me of one uh, disengagement I had back on 1149 when I was driving on the highway. I really wish I would have gotten it on camera, but it was so foggy, so incredibly foggy. I was going about 60, 65 on, a, on the highway. It was so foggy that eventually FSD just said, too foggy, alert, and it just shut off. Um, and kind of slipped, I mean, the car was slowing to some extent on the highway, but it just canceled FSD while I was going 65 miles an hour. Weather was too degraded. Um, I kind of, that's what I was think was mentioning when I had that situation with the car on the highway just before this one was kicking up so much water at a certain point it would be degraded to the point where what would happen? It just shuts off there at that point. I mean, that's fine as long as we're supervised and can take over. But if we're at the point where I'm sleeping in the back seat or watching YouTube in the back seat, what then? I mean, I know Waymo is operating on highways right now. So 
if a fog storm hits and Waymo can't see, it can't pull over to the side of the road if it doesn't even know where the road is. Anyway, these are things I think about during the day, at night, I dream about when you're obsessed with full self-driving and watching the revolution that we're going through. These are the things you think about. Things that probably 100 years from now, people are gonna laugh about. I can't believe they didn't know the answer to that. Does he even know how to use the three seashells? Demolition Man, another nag right here. Did it even put on a turn signal? Yeah, look at this. This is weaving all over, turn signal, turn signal. This is That was the situation where I think, I don't know that it was trying to pick lanes there. I think it kind of lost the center lane. I would hope that if there was a car, it would not have just uh, weaved into it. But yeah, that, that weaving between lanes is something that is unique to the version 12 neural nets that didn't really exist in version 11.49. Make sure we don't turn into this uh, guy on the side of the road just wheeling down through the rain all right we're gonna go right here and then we're gonna head into Trader Joe's get some vittles uh, but yeah really good drive want to bring you along in the rain we're gonna take other opportunities we can to get some videos out for you thanks for coming along this is the last little turn here we don't have a car but there's no stop sign for us there is a stop signs on the other three ways so we should not stop which we did not nicely done there kind of close to the right curb but we arrived at trader joe's successfully all right i'm going to turn it off thanks for coming along guys see you next time